The rest is quite simple, really. In this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to install a Simply Safe smart home security alarm for yourself. And by the end of the video, I'm hoping you're going to be like, damn, that was easier than I thought. So in the Simply Safe care package, I've got almost one of everything that you can buy from Simply Safe at the time of this video. And just for clarity, when you purchase equipment from Simply Safe, you do own the equipment. And here's the first pro tip. If you're buying security equipment, make sure you own the security equipment. Each element has a timestamp so you can jump to that specific part of the video for the elements that you might need help with. So let's do this. So in this tutorial video, I'm going to be installing the Simply Safe entry sensor, the Simply Safe motion sensor, the glass break sensor, the flood detection sensor, the smoke detector, the panic button, the extra siren, the indoor Simply Cam, the wireless outdoor security camera, the Simply Safe key fob, and of course the key components, the keypad, and of course the base station. So there is a lot of stuff here and I'm gonna do my best to keep it very concise and straight to the point. So first up, the base station, the heart and soul of the system. Now I am someone who spent half a decade fitting smart security systems, so this is my tip for you. When you're deciding where to place the base station, it should ideally be somewhere in the center of your home and in an area where you have a motion sensor set to direct detection. Now stick around to the end of the video where I explain how to set sensors to direct and time delay. But for now, let me show you how to set this up. So here's how to install the base station. You plug it in, you pull the tab and it's done. Welcome to Simply Save. This Simply Save keypad, this is battery operated and to power it up, you just need to pull the battery tab. Keypad added. And then follow the on-screen instructions to set up a master pin. It does have pre-applied adhesive strips on the back that makes fitting this to the wall incredibly easy. And one of the nice features here is that if you do want to remove the bracket from the wall, you can literally just pull these and it will strip away the adhesive without ruining the wall behind it. And that is a very thoughtful and convenient design. So it is recommended that you fit the keypad near the entry exit point of your property. To fit it, peel the strips, place it against the wall and hold the pressure for about 30 seconds to make sure the adhesive secures properly. And once you're confident that it's stuck to the wall, slide it upwards off the back bracket because we will be using it to install and label the rest of the sensors. And here's another pro tip. When it comes to labeling the sensors, trust me, spend some time, be sensible about it and make sure it's very clear that you know what sensor is what. How to install the Simply Safe motion sensors. So these motion sensors are beautifully tiny but mighty. They can spot a burglar at 10 meters away and they cover a perfect 90 degree field of view. And when fixing these, don't place these higher than two meters off the ground if you want the optimal performance. However, if you do have pets, then consult the manual for the exact height that it recommends for the motion sensors. Pro tip, when placing your motion sensors, never place them above a radiator or anything that gets extremely hot. Do not place motion sensors anywhere where strong beams of light can actually hit the sensor directly, because if you do, you're gonna get false alarms. So now you know that, decide where you want the sensors to be. And to keep it simple, use the pre-applied adhesive strips but if you're worried about the motion sensor because it's low down and you think maybe someone might rip it off the wall or something like that, there are screws and rule plugs provided in the box. So you can use those to fix it more securely. But if you wanna keep it simple, use the adhesive, push for 30 seconds and that's it, you're done. So this next bit is for pet owners. Take the motion sensor off the wall by sliding it upwards so that you can access the sensitivity switch on the back. This switch allows you to change the sensitivity from low to medium to high. If you have a big dog, set it to low. Once you're happy with it and it's back on the wall, pull the tab to release the battery, push the pairing button on the top and label the sensor accordingly. And that's it, job done. Motion sensor added. The Simply Safe entry sensor. So these work by creating a magnetic field between them. The maximum distance can be up to five centimeters. And if you break that magnetic field, it will trigger the alarm. Here's another pro tip. So this larger part of the entry sensor is actually the part that houses the circuitry, the antenna and the battery. So this part should remain on the frame of the window or door. The smaller part houses just the magnet. So this can go 
on the actual window that opens outwards or the door if it opens outwards. And the reason this is important is because if you put the more important part on a window that opens outwards and this fills up with water, it could destroy the sensor. So make sure the bigger part goes on the frame and not the door or window itself. So think carefully before placing these, make sure they're not further than five centimeters apart. Peel the adhesive strip, push firmly for 30 seconds, pull the battery tab and push the pairing button. The base station will pick it up, use the keypad to label it. And now the entry sensor is done. Entry sensor added. The Simply Safe glass break sensor. So this little gadget is designed to pick up the exact sound of glass breaking. And this can actually be placed on window ledges, window frames, or even six meters away from a window. And here's another pro tip. If you have thick curtains in front of your windows, then I do recommend you put the sensor as close to the glass as possible and behind the curtain because those thick curtains can muffle the sound picked up by the sensor and that will kind of defeat the point of having one. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about the position of the glass break sensor. And just like the motion sensor, it does have the pairing button at the top and to change the batteries, you do need to slide it upwards. So make sure you've got that two centimeter clearance above the sensor wherever you place it. Once you're happy with the position, peel, place, push the pairing button, the base station will tell you that it's connected. Glass break sensor, detected. Now choose a name. Glass brake sensor installed. The Simply Safe water sensor. So, this gadget right here is perfect for anybody who lives near a river or in an area that's prone to flooding. These six contact points on the base will detect water. And this is one of the easiest elements to install because it doesn't need to be fixed to anything. Here's a pro tip for the water sensor. If you do want to fix this more permanently in a position and you don't want it to be freestanding, you can use adhesive. You simply apply the adhesive to the base, but whatever you do, do not cover the contact points. Once you're happy with the position, press the pairing button on top. The base station will recognize it. Water sensor detected. Now choose a name. The Simply Safe smoke detector. So this is one of the elements that requires a little bit of extra handiwork because you do need to screw a couple of screws into the ceiling and there is rule plugs and screws provided in the kit. So to install this, you need to twist the back plate off and fix this to the ceiling. Once you've done that, you can pull the battery tab, then twist the smoke detector onto the bracket on the ceiling. The base station will recognize it and then you can continue on the keypad. Simply label it and now it's ready to detect smoke. Smoke detector, name. The Simply Safe panic button. So this little gizmo can be anywhere in your home and it's particularly beneficial for the elderly or anybody who feels kind of vulnerable. And just like the motion sensors, it's important that you keep a two centimeter clearance above the sensor. As when it comes to changing the batteries, you will need to slide it upwards to access them. So figure out where you want this to be. Once you're happy with it, pull the battery tab, the base station will recognize it. Panic button added. And now all you need to do is give it a name and it is as easy as that. The Simply Safe Extra Siren. So if the base station siren isn't loud enough, this extra siren will add an additional 105 decibels of volume to your system. And when placing this, make sure you keep that two centimeter clearance above it. And if you are fitting this inside, the pre-installed adhesive strips will hold it nicely. Just make sure you push firmly for 30 seconds or longer to make sure it's properly secured. Once it is secured, pull the battery tab and press the pairing button on top. Now the base station will detect it, continue on the Sorry. keypad and label the location. Job done. Here's a pro tip for the siren. So when it comes to placing the siren, you want to place it somewhere where a burglar can't just grab it off the wall and destroy it straight away if it goes off. So think about possibly putting it high up out of reach or maybe above a cabinet or something like that. And that should do the trick. The Simply Safe, Simply Cam 1080p. So the Simply Cam is the perfect device for keeping an eye on your mischievous pets or mischievous old folk. So up until this point, everything has been done via the keypad, but the Simply Cam works a little different. You need to configure it via the Simply Safe app. Follow the instructions within the app to set up the camera with your Wi-Fi. And something that's really important and I really appreciate with the Simply Cam, unlike a lot of other indoor security cameras, is that this one has a built-in privacy feature 
that blocks off the camera when you're at home. If you have camera sensors in your house that are constantly uncovered and monitored by a third party company, how can you be sure that they're not spying on you? The Simply Safe Wireless Outdoor Security Camera. So this is a brilliant bit of kit because you don't need to run any cables. You don't need to drill from an inner wall to an outer wall in order to get it going. And connecting it's a little bit different from the other camera. So you need to twist the front cover off, put the battery in, twist the lid back on and straight away it goes into pairing mode. And all you need to do to fix this to the outside of your house is fit this thinner part to the wall outside with two screws and two wall plugs. And then you screw the magnetic part onto it just by twisting it like that. And then the camera itself magnetically attaches. And that is how easy it is to set up your own outdoor security. Here's a pro tip for the outdoor wireless security camera. When it comes to placing an outdoor security camera, you want it to be high up enough that a burglar can't just grab it and steal it. But you also want to place it somewhere where you can get to it when you need to change the batteries. What I recommend you do, as long as you do it safely, is place it near an upstairs window where you can reach out and grab it when you need to. If you do take my advice on this, make sure you do it safely. You do not want to fall out of your window whilst trying to reach for your camera. So be careful, be mindful of your camera placement. Don't fall out your window, safety comes first. So this handy little gadget allows you to switch on and off the system or put it into home mode where your doors are activated. And also on the top, there is a panic button as well. And that's that red strip you see there. To connect the key fob, enter your pin on the keypad. Now scroll down to devices and click add device. Push the red panic button to put it into pairing mode. Key fob added. And it will connect. Once connected, label it on the keypad. And I recommend you label it to the name of the person who uses it. And that's it, it's done. And here's a key fob pro tip. If you're on the beach, far, far, far away from your home and you accidentally unlock the alarm, nothing will happen because this only works within nine meters of the base station. So don't worry about hitting the buttons by accident. If you do want to control your alarm from the beach on the other side of the world, that is what the Simply Safe app is for. And there's plenty to play around with on the Simply Safe app. There's options for professional monitoring, including guard response and police response callouts and all that good stuff. But remember, these are options and they're not forced upon you. When it comes to buying security, it's you who should have the ultimate decision and not a pushy salesperson. So consider the Simply Safe monitoring options. They are competitively priced and quite a bit cheaper than the competition in a lot of cases. And if you think that I made this installation look simple, I wasn't trying to. It really is that simple. And now hopefully you're saying to yourself, damn, that's easier than I thought it would be. And here's the last pro tip. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's a good idea to have a sensor watching the base station that's set to instant detection with no time delay. So if a burglar breaks in and tries to destroy the base station, it won't give them any time to think. It will literally be going off before they can destroy it. So in order to set this up, go to my system, go to device settings, choose the device that's watching the base station and here set it to instant trigger. Now send that to the base station and that is the final pro tip.